resurrection of Peter McGee campaign, I found a ticket stub from my very first trip to New York City in 1984. I was visiting Peter, of course, who had moved there from Rochester after getting kicked out of Canada. Always the gracious host, he shared with me some of his favorite haunts in the village, and I even headed out on my own, chasing down the Dakota to see the place where John Lennon lived and died. Every day we checked out what kind of theater tickets we could get on the cheap. It was a thrill to see a chorus line on Broadway, but the experience of a lifetime was seeing Dustin Hoffman, John Malkovich, and Kate Reed in Death of a Salesman. The play ran only 97 performances to critical acclaim and was then developed into the award-winning TV special. Critics hailed Kate Reed's Linda Lohman as perhaps her greatest triumph. Christian still has the program. C'est un de mes souvenirs les plus marquants de mon séjour dans la Grosse Pomme. Afterwards, Peter and Christian practically had to drag me out of the theater. I was like a limp carrot, devastated by the production. In order to tell you about all of this, I enlisted the services of Ambassador Chris Lee, who was to be in New York and agreed to shoot the footage. Uncannily, at about the same time here in Saskatoon, the bosom of the Quinlan family, RPM Ambassador Townsend was getting me acquainted with the cocktail of the same name. The Manhattan, of course. Naturally, it was the cocktail of choice when Ambassador Lee suddenly decided to hop a plane and spend New Year's Eve on the Lone Prairie at RPM headquarters. As Dame Fate would have it, four days later, the Globe and Mail once again, inexplicably, endorsed the RPM campaign by featuring the recipe for the perfect Manhattan. And really, all I can say about that is, cheers. <laughs>